One thing you hear from a lot of people when they start or are considering starting a low carb, keto, carnivore uh, lifestyle is giving up something or missing out on uh, their previous food choices. But what are they missing out from really? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb, keto, carnivore discussion. And this week's uh, topic is uh, giving up the foods that you used to eat or missing out or uh, the, the fear of, of not having the things you used to have. <clears throat> and this is a multifaceted uh, topic because there are several reasons that uh, people uh, get, get upset about these things or concerned. And one of them is uh, familiarity. Uh, you, know, you, you get stuck in a routine. A lot of the aspects of your life revolve around eating, or they used to. Uh, eating was uh, entertainment. It, it was a dopamine hit. Um, there was an addiction to be concerned with, sh mainly the sugar and what, what happens to your body when you eat something. And another is a, a flavor. Uh, you may miss the flavors that came along with certain things, especially sweet flavors. Uh, even things like ketchup, for instance, are, uh, will be uh, noticeably absent uh, when you go to a low-carb, keto, or carnivore diet uh, or lifestyle uh, plan. And another one that what we had a, a particular uh, issue with was texture. Texture, uh, mainly the crunch for us. It's the crunch of a tortilla chip or the, the chew that comes from a wheat-based bread. Uh, like a pizza crust, for instance. Uh, pizza crust dipped into a, a cup of a sugary uh, marinara sauce was something that we, we thought we enjoyed. <clears throat> now, that, that's the key word there. Uh, we thought we enjoyed it. We, in our mind, we did enjoy it. But what it, what's really happening there is it was a chemical addiction. And through repeated actions, like hundreds, if not thousands, tens of thousands of meals, that, at times that you ate whatever food it was. Um, you know, I loved, I loved my Doritos, and I loved my nachos, and I loved my pizza. And those things, to this day, I think back, and it really was some, some kind of addiction. I mean, I, living without it, it doesn't have to be uh, taken as, as you're losing something. Um, if anything, you're losing the, the raising your blood sugar, which in the long run and is, is so much more beneficial than the short term pleasure you had. And, and you have to get into that mindset to say like, I'm, I'm missing that, that those five minutes of pleasure, which always resulted in either pain afterward, you know, a stomach ache, digestive issues or weight gain. And, and then you had a long term issue with you know lesser uh, self-esteem and and so on um but the crunch and like and that's another thing that these low carb people tend to do and i think it's a mistake and that's replacing that old feeling you got from the crunch or making low carb breads you know i i, I went down that road for a while where we tried making keto breads and you know all sorts of almond flours and um, rice flour and, and what, they had all sorts of coconut flour which it never tastes like bread no matter I mean I think once out of the hundred experiments I tried making a keto or low carb pizza crust uh, did it come out almost like pizza and it would the amount of work involved to try and replicate pizza when I can just take some fresh mutts and some really low sugar tomato sauce. You don't even need tomato sauce. Just put some garlic powder on some melted uh, cheese curds, for instance, and you close your eyes and you feel like you're eating the first bite of a, of a slice of pizza. If you really need to get it, and then just focus on the flavor at that point. You know, a nice melted cheese. I mean, God, you gotta try uh, cheese curds. They're not uh, easily available everywhere, but cheese curds are great. But anyway, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, like the closest I ever came to replicating that crunch was uh, making baked uh, cheese, Parmesan cheese, or sometimes you can buy these blocks of cheese at uh, ShopRite or anywhere, the cheapest cheese. Get some like Colby Jack or uh, Pepper Jack cheese and you just put them in a muffin tin, a little quarter ounce 
square and you bake them until they turn slightly brown let them cool off and they're they're crunchy if you really miss it but it's it, nothing will ever replace the crunch of a high carb food such as a corn chip or a tortilla chip nothing nothing can replace that crunch and, and there's no point in even trying just give up the crunch and and the benefit you get with the improved body composition and just energy levels and mental acuity is, uh, you know, I had a brain fart before and I'm talking about mental acuity, but, cause I'm doing this all unscripted by the way. This is all off the top of my head. I had a subject matter I started with and I just, I just ramble on. I have a basic idea of what I want to talk about. But um, yeah, just be happy that, that you're, you're gonna be in good health and don't worry about the food. And we're going to talk about this another time about the, the whole concept of meat eating as entertainment. Um, you get programmed after decades of eating a certain way that uh, food is, is some sort of pleasure dome event. Oh, we're going to sit down and eat and it's like, like orgasmic in some kind of way. Uh, it doesn't have to be that way. And if you simplify your your outlook, your framework of, of eating and just don't even think about it. So I spend maybe five minutes eating a, a day, like in the fridge right now. I, I made last night, I made three or four pounds of uh, ground beef and pork sausage. I mashed it all together and made these massive 10 ounce hamburgers on the grill. They're, you know, two thirds beef and one third sausage. I think that's too much sausage. It tasted a little too much like sausage. I think I'll do like 80% beef, 20% sausage next time. I threw an egg in there too and some Parmesan cheese just to, to give it some a different texture and taste. But you just eat it and you move on with your day. That is extremely important uh, to change the way you eat. Don't make it into an event. Don't make it a, like a big, like, like, it's unnecessary. So, and I told, told my friend who, who just started the carnivore and he's like, I, I wanna go back to eating these things one day. And that's an understandable uh, feeling to have in the very beginning because you, you, you have some sort of remorse. You miss the, the great things you used to eat, like a hoagie sandwich. I mean, those hoagie sandwiches still in my mind, you know, with lettuce, tomato, and onion, and oil, and vinegar, and mayonnaise, and all those cold cuts, and, and, and you bite into that, that white bread. With the, it's the, the bread is soaked with those oils. The oils are not bad for you. It's the bread that it's soaked in. Um, and I told him that, you know, in time, you, you will no longer think about those things. And, and you may have to do some, I mean, I could tell all the people in the world that you're not gonna miss it, but you have to go through the experience yourself for it to really, to, for it to stick, you know what I mean? In order for it to stick. Like I, I went through that phase where I missed it, let me try it. And then like these days, even if I put something that's outside of the, the animal, kingdom like a vegetable or, or some kind of even beans are make me feel funny now like the other night I had uh, three cashews three salted cashews and, and that's apparently one of the keto or I forget which group it's okay to have a few nuts it, it I didn't feel good and I know I'm not gonna do it again it, it wasn't that you know exciting for me to eat uh, to want to do it again so you stick stick to the basics and, and treat food like it's it's just fuel and you'll be okay. But you're gonna have to probably go through the the steps to to, to make it stick. Because I could tell you all, all you really need to know, but self self experience is, is important. So that's it. Don't miss the textures and the flavors too much. Just treat the the food as your sustenance and move on with other more important things in your life and be happy that you're feeling great and Everything is improved, your skin, your hair, your attention span, everything else. So that's it for this week's uh, low carb keto carnivore chat. And I'll see you next week with some other uh, related topic. Have a nice week ahead.